All right, it's super easy to use the sample size calculator. Let's use the first example. Let's say we have a question that is a yes or no or an agree or disagree, so it's a binary survey response option. And we want to know how many people we should plan on surveying, how many responses, to have a margin of error of plus or minus 10% and be 95% confident. Well, we see that gives us a, a, a needed sample size of 93. Well, if that level of precision is too wide, it's that margin of error is too large, let's say we want a 5% margin of error. We can see the calculations get updated automatically, and we see we would need a sample size of 381. And, uh, for example, if we wanted much higher precision, like you see often on television or in the newspaper or about presidential polls, where there's a margin of error of around 3%, you could see we need to plan on measuring uh, around a thousand or surveying around a little over a thousand people. All right, let's try another example. Let's say I have a rating scale, it's seven points, and it's asking people to respond on how likely they are to uh, use a product in the future. And I want to know how large of a sample size I would need. Well, again, I need to ask how precise I need to be. And if I want to be uh, as precise as let's say a one quarter of a point, I would enter 0.25 in here. And here's my number of response options, it's a seven point scale. And the calculator is using some uh, built in assumptions based upon market research data about how big the standard deviation is for a seven point scale. And it tells me I should plan on having a sample size of 200. For those interested, you could see the calculations in real time down here. Well, if I can't, don't have a budget for 200, let's say um, I need to then decrease the amount of precision I have. Let's go to within half a point. Okay, so I can handle around 50 people. So to have a margin of plus or minus half a point, I need to plan on having around 50 people. So if I get a little more than 50, I'll be a little bit more precise in that. So if I get an average of something like six, uh, on a seven point scale, I know it'd be between 5.5 and 6.5. As a bonus, this package also includes two confidence interval calculators that you can use in conjunction with finding the correct sample size. So you could do some what-if scenarios or actually analyze your data once it comes in. So for example, this is the binary response calculator. So if 50 out of 100 people uh, responded to one of my questions, I could be 95% sure uh, between about 40% and 60% uh, would actually uh, agree to that question. Let's say it's about using a product in the future. It works for even for small sample sizes. So if I had 15 out of 20, uh, as you can see, then actually the confidence interval goes up pretty dramatically. And I can still see that I'm 95% sure, though, between about 53 and 90% of people would agree to this question. This graph is going to update automatically. So the confidence interval is really the secret to how sample size calculations are made. Sample size calculation is just a reverse confidence interval. So this, this package has both for you so you can go back and forth.